new little mid set mid segment conversation called hashtag fly conversations, right? So I'm gonna give y'all a scenario, and in 30 seconds or less, I want you to answer what you would tell this young man. Crazy. <laughs> <laughs> hey, <laughs> an 18 year old, an 18 year old young man has a kid. How would you recommend he manage his personal life in order to become a highly effective man by age 30? 30 seconds or less. Coat and go. Hey, you got to prioritize. That that child is number one. Number two is, is yourself. You got to focus on your, your child and yourself. Because if you keep growing, that, that young man or woman is going to watch you grow, and they're going to grow with you. Nice. So still stay focused. Keep your eye on the prize. All right. Uh, it's Brink. Go. Um, <laughs> I would Thank say you. don't get discouraged. Um because no, you I, can relate. Yeah, I can relate. The, you were 18, but you were I was, I was 24. Yeah. yeah. Don't get discouraged. You know, the the road to success is not always straight, and it's going to be speed bumps, and it's going to be, you know, dead ends. Um, but I would say have goals and work to achieve those goals. And just because you don't achieve them in the time frame that you set doesn't mean that they're still not achievable. Solid. Solid. Sam? Uh, I'll, I'll go along the same lines and just say make a plan, execute. I'm thinking about myself at 18 and – a lot of areas in life, I just didn't have a plan. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah. you know what I mean? That's where I learned a lot of lessons. So I would say make a plan to execute. Might not nice. be perfect, but, you know, nice. have something. Nice. I, I, know, I know we're getting short on time, so I just I just had to say this. About <laughs> go the, ahead, go about ahead. About the journey, because I was, I was holding this in. <laughs> Man, the journey and and why people don't embrace the journey necessarily, and I, I always run back to wrestling because that was such a big part of my life for the vast majority of my life, is that you have to become – you have to find joy in the pain mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. getting to the pinnacle of wrestling wise and, and in my wrestling career and, and winning state titles and all that stuff. When I actually won it, the first thing or the first one I won, the first thing I thought about was, damn, I won this because I was nine years old, waking up at five 30 in the morning oh to mm -hmm. live before school or to wrestle before school to train. I was like, nobody else was doing that. Early, I know other kids were around the country, but, you know, I had to embrace the pain. And those mornings were terrible. Right. I cried yeah. damn near once a week getting woken up to, to, to work out or train. And when I got to school, kids were like, why are you so tired? Like, nigga, I had to work out. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I had a whole day. What do you mean you had to work out? Like, why you got morning workouts? I had a whole day but already. That also let me know that I was different, mm -hmm. that everybody can't do what I can do. Mm -hmm. And – when you, you embrace the, the pain and stay in the moment, mm -hmm. not look into the future like, I hope I win this title it's here. The, it's, the power, it's the power of now. this match two yeah. weeks ago. It's the power of now. Staying in that moment. Right. I think the best thing you can say at that point is saying it was worth it. It was worth yep. it. Oh, like, yeah. All the sacrifice. I remember like when I graduated, I went home, ate with my family, went home, sat in a chair, and I was like, it was worth it. it like, was. Mm -hmm. All the missed parties, all the missed times hanging out with friends, all yeah. that shit was worth it. Because you, you, you realize, man, you know, like, just to sum it up, you know, being a highly effective man makes you look back and have hindsight. It makes you look back on some of the critical things your mentors teach you about being timely, about being humble, being humble, uh, having a mild temperament, uh, being an effective communicator, being spiritually balanced, being proactive, and being hungry for growth, I think are some of the critical, most effective traits that a man can have to be highly effective. Mm -hmm. um, and I believe that if they have those tools at least and some other ones sprinkled in there, you can always put your right step, your right foot forward um, and take positive steps towards growth and re always remain humble and, and always understand, hey, when you look at all these, in these individuals like Warren Buffett, uh, Grant Cardone, Jay-Z, Nas, anybody that has achieved massive success, they always have a strong team around them. Oh, yeah. So um, being a highly effective man, man, very, very good conversation. Clap it up.